This is what a single granule burning inside of a firework looks like, filmed at more than 3,000 frames per second. I had a firework expert friend of mine build a firework against a pane of glass so that we could show you what it looks like from the inside. So you've got a fuse comes in and ignites the lift charge. This fires it out of the mortar, which is what you call the uh, the cannon that it goes inside of. When this charge ignites, it also ignites this time fuse. So when the shell is actually rising up into the air, this fuse is slowly burning. And when it finally reaches its maximum height, the fuse reaches the center charge. That ignites. The fire rapidly spreads from where it's ignited by the fuse, spreads outward toward these balls of powder, which are called stars. They're compressed balls of powder that burn more slowly uh, and those are thrown out into the air and they make all the colors that you see in the sky. Nice. That was sweet. That was cool. So that's a bit crazy. Yeah, a little bright. That was extremely bright. And it, it was it was nuts because as it hit the inside of that mortar, it was just like basically a, uh, I don't know, it reminded me of something like the inside of Mordor, like lava kind of starting to burst. On the inside of a shell, there's a reason they use really loose, really large granules. Um, those granules allow fire to pass in between so that when one little part of the shell ignites, it uh, the fire travels throughout the entire shell. That would make a lot of sense, actually. I mean, that's like with a du dust explosion, right? Like, yep. you have to have the dust far enough apart from itself so you have enough oxygen in between to make it burn. It's similar, but uh, the fuel inside a firework has its own oxygen. So the the purpose of having space in between the particles is different than in a regular fire where you would need... Um, where you would need space in there to provide enough oxygen. It's more to allow the flame front to travel from one side of the shell to the other quickly enough that it all ignites at one time instead of uh, burning from one end to the other like a rocket would. Nifty. Be sure to go check out Ben's YouTube channel, Nighthawk and Light. He does some incredible DIY and maker style content. I highly recommend it. I'm actually gonna be doing a second channel myself, which is gonna focus very heavily on a mix of science and educational content and just oddly satisfying slow motion. While here on Beyond Slow Motion, I'm gonna be focusing more on filmmaking, content creation, and cinematography. 
starting with a series on the best slow motion cameras on the market. So stay tuned and be looking forward to that. I'm actually kicking it off with a camera called the NAC HX7, which does 2000 frames per second in 1080p. Till next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you soon.